come with me on this original road leading from the sea to the city. Let's see what we discover in this place as we travel the ancient road to this ancient place. Hi, this is Reverend C again, and you're not gonna guess where I am. Yes, it is another ruins, but this one you're really gonna like because this is the ruins of Corinth. Yes, I am in Greece. And if you think about that name Corinth, you'll remember that the Apostle Paul was in Corinth. You will remember that the Apostle Paul wrote letters to the church at Corinth that we call Corinthians. So in this place, I want to remind us that Acts 18 talks about Paul leaving Athens and traveling to Corinth. And he was there for 18 months. Now what we know, want to know about Corinth is, of course, right now it looks as if it is a pile of stones. And that's all it is. But in Paul's time, the Apostle Paul's time, it was a thriving community. It was on the sea. It traded with the known world. It was a happening kind of place. And there was a new and growing Christian community in this place. And that community, well, it was made up of all kinds of folks because remember this was a cosmopolitan city. So it was made of those who were Jesus followers. It was made of those who were Jewish converts, those who were God worshipers those who were pagan and searching for something different than what they had known. And because of that combination of people, there was division within the community. And the Apostle Paul wanted to talk about that and remind the people that there was a better way. Hear these words that I am reading to you in this place that is Corinth, this same place where the Apostle Paul was, this same place where the Apostle Paul sent these words to the Christian community in Corinth. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. Love is not rude, it's not self-seeking, it's not easily angered. Love keeps no record of wrongs. Love doesn't delight in evil, but it rejoices with the truth. Love always protects, it always trusts, it always hopes, it always perseveres. Love never fails. May we be reminded of this love in this place with this midweek meditation. Paul's words remind us that when there is discord in a community, when there is division in our communities, our families, our world, there is a better way. And that way is called love. And Paul's chapter in 1 Corinthians is a great passage for us to go to again and again, to be reminded of what love is and who we are to be as people of love, people of the one God, the almighty God, the only God, the God who loves all. Let us pray together. God, God who is love, God who brings us love, God who makes us creatures who love, remind us in the quietness of this place that just as you called Paul to this place to demonstrate the Jesus way, call us 
wherever it is you need us to be to demonstrate your way so that we are embodiment of love being patient and kind and not boasting and not proud and not envious and not rude may we keep no records of wrongs nor delight in evil but may we be the love that protects and trusts and hopes and always perseveres show us your way we pray this day Amen. Thanks for joining Reverend C today. I'm so glad that together we are here at Corinth. I hope you'll join me again for my midweek meditation. No telling where I'll be next time. Bye.